In today's video, I'm going to give you some tips on cleaning the water in your hot tub. It's really important to keep your water clean. About every three months, I like to drain the hot tub and keep the water fresh. The reason being, I want the hot tub to last a long time. This tub's lasted over 10 years. It's a jacuzzi brand. And one thing I do is take care of it. So the water gets dirty over time from all the lotions and from our skin and all the contaminants that we bring into the hot tub, including soap from our uh, clothes after they've been washed and not all the water gets washed out. So the first product I like to use is this spa, spa shock. I put the spa shock in, I run the hot tub with the filters in overnight. You can do it for a couple hours, but I like to have this in and I put uh, two or three capsules of this product in the hot tub. That'll start loosening up some of the bacteria and killing off some of the bacteria. I'd normally recommend you do it at least the night before you're going to clean and drain the water. The next product that I'm going to use is Spa Clear. And I use this product and it's worked great. I've used it for years. And this will bring all the algae and stuff that is in the pipes of your hot tub to the surface. That way you can clean them up. The next product I use, just standard paper towel. Have at least two rolls available in case you have a lot of scum in your tub. And I'll show you how I use this in a few minutes. So before I use this, I'm gonna remove the spa filters so that I don't get a lot of the scum being sucked back into my filters and clogging up my filters. The filters are very expensive. If you keep them clean, they'll last you a long time. So now you want to use your spa clear. I basically use about a half a bottle of this. Now I've already poured some into the spa and I'm going to turn the spa on and let it run for about 30 to 45 minutes to build up some of the scum. So there's a couple ways you can clean your filters. I like to spray them down with water. So now we've run the tub with the spa clear in it. We turned off the jet so we can build up and look at the scum line. As you can see, if you look closely, you can see the scum line that develops on the, on the spa. So as you can see, there's a lot of scum buildup that gets into the tub. Now this isn't really bad and this tub was really clean already, but you're still getting some scum and this is stuff that stays in the lines of your hot tub. Now for the top layer, if I get some scum buildup in an area like this, I lay the paper towel on and pull it to the side and pull up the scum. Wipe the edges, don't let it dry all the way around so then turn your hot tub back on let it cycle some more with the cleaner in there let more build up get in on your sides and on the top in the water and then bring it off with the paper towel to do this multiple times I would put a put about four hours aside to do the whole thing including draining the tub I use a sump pump to pump the water out you really want to get it clean since you're taking the time and you're spending the money on putting fresh water in. So there's one other product you can use for this process and for this video it may make it easier to see the scum that builds up. It's normally algae colored green but it gets blue or purple when you use this product. So with the clarifier in there, you can really see the buildup. So we're gonna wet our paper towel and we're just gonna wipe it off. So we'll go around the spa now and get all of it. So now that your spa water looks clear, there's no scum anywhere in there, 
Next process is to go to your electrical panel, disconnect your hot tub power, and then you can go ahead and drain the hot tub using the drain plug, which comes on the side of the hot tub, or using something like a sump pump. Disconnect the power to the hot tub now that it's clean before you start draining the hot tub. You can also go to your electrical panel. So one tip, I like to do an annual deep clean on the hot tub. When I do that, I go in, I wipe down everything really good. I sometimes just use uh, soap, soap and water. You don't want to get a lot of soap in the hot tub, otherwise I use Windex. But when I like to polish the tub, and get it really nice and smooth and clean again, I like to use gel gloss. You go through, polish the tub really good. Like I said, I do this maybe once, twice a year, depending on how dirty the hot tub gets over time. But this puts a nice protective shield on your fiberglass of your hot tub. So we're just about drained down. I'm gonna use my water gun here to suck out some of the extra water that's stuck on the seat. You can go around the hot tub and get all the seats or you can climb in and splash the water into the main compartment while you're draining it. So we got the hot tub all drained down now. You can come in with a beach towel or something, wipe up the excess water, take some cleaner and or put your wax on right now and wax the hot tub. So you have a nice clean tub before you put the water in. You can always skip some of these steps, but remember to do it right so you don't have to do it as often. It's easier to just plan a half a day and do it right. So we're all filled up with fresh water. We're going to put our filters back in. We're going to turn our electric back on. We're going to prime the pump with just turning the jets on and off real quickly a couple times. And then we're ready to go. So thanks for watching the video. Take a look at some of our other videos and tips and tricks for buying and selling homes, doing things around the house to get more value out of your home. Subscribe to the channel down below and comment if you have any questions. Have a great day.